Hello YouTube, uh, this is an update on my current solar project. Um, right now I have a Schedule 40 pipe, Schedule 40 aluminum pipe, um, that's going to be, that's mounted in the ground. Uh, it's 51 inches deep, okay? Six inches at the bottom is uh, six inches of, uh, there's six inches of crushed rock, and on top of that crushed rock is the pipe, and it comes up for maybe like 45 inches, and uh, to the top of the ground, and at the top of the ground you see that concrete, uh, uh, framing that actually will uh, make it into like a concrete block. But anyway, it's 51 inches in depth. So, and this pipe itself is about uh, total length is about 11 feet. Okay, 11 feet. And so I'm going to you be, have a top of pole mounted uh, structure to hold my two solar panels. I had some general contractors come out and put it in the ground for me. I also had them dig me a trench um, about 15 feet to the house there. The trench is about uh, five inches wide and eight inches deep, and I'm going to fill that trench with uh, flexible conduit, gray conduit that you use to, uh, that utility workers use to run uh, electrical wires through. It's uh, outside rated, um, and I'll run it in the trench, as you can see right there, it's, it's already there, um, and I'm going to run them up the wall into the house. Okay, this uh, concrete um, basically has to have um, basically 72 hours to cure, uh, about at least 72 hours uh, before I can put the panels up. But anyway, again, the hole itself, it's, the pipe itself is about 11 feet. The outer diameter is 4 inches. It's a Schedule 40 aluminum structural pipe, aluminum structural pipe, and it's 51 inches deep. The hole was 51 inches deep. Uh, at the bottom of the hole is six inches of crushed rock, and on top of that is the pipe itself. The diameter of the hole was 18 inches in diameter, okay? And again, this is flexible conduit on the side. All right, uh, a lot of people, are you, they use wood structures and so forth. It's cheaper, yes, it is, it is cheaper to go with the wood and everything, but um, I decided to go with a more professional-looking uh, structure. Um, and so, therefore, I went with the aluminum as opposed to dealing with wood. Um, it's cheaper to go with aluminum as opposed to stainless steel. Some people say, well, aluminum, uh, stainless steel is stronger. Yes, but uh, this right here is also uh, equally strong, um, especially if it's aluminum structural pipe. This is, you know, um, it's, it's incredibly strong. And it's a quarter of an inch, and the walls of the pipe, is they're a quarter of an inch thick, so <laughs> they'll be fine. Uh, but anyway, that's my update, YouTube, and stay tuned. I uh, can't wait to get those panels um, up, on the, uh, up on the top of the pole. All right, take care.